Praise God. Pastor Harris, the House of Prayer online ministry. You ever been in a place where God is beginning to talk to you? He starts dealing with you at a whole nother level, a level that you've never been at? You know, I find myself um, in conversations, talking to different people here and there. And the thing that really annoys me, and I said, Lord, you got to deal with me on that. I need you to help me because talking with people and they talking about stuff that they heard and not about stuff that they know for a fact gets kind of annoying because, you know, you should talk about what you know and not about what you heard. You know, we talking in a conversation in general. You know, we may be talking about um, how God delivered us from smoking weed or God delivered us from fornicating. God delivered us from drinking and God delivered us from, you know, doing different things of the world. And you have somebody come in and they start saying, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. And you listening to their conversation and you know for a fact that they don't know what they're talking about. But they just jumping in the conversation to be a part of the conversation. You do not have to do that. If God has not delivered you from fornicating and God has not delivered you from smoking weed and drinking, you've never been on the street, you don't know what it's like to be homeless, you don't know what it's like to uh, dibble and dabble in drugs, it's okay. You know, you don't have to jump in that conversation just to make yourself be a part of that conversation. Because then what you're doing is actually lying. And that is a sin. You know, so, you know, just be careful. When we talk about things, let's talk about things that we know and not about things that we heard or things that we assume are going on. Because the Bible lets us know that come judgment day, we're going to have to stand for all those lies that we told. You know, and then people, oh, I was just joking around. I was just kidding. You weren't just joking around. You were just kidding. You were just lying. And we have to be really careful with that. You know, if you have not been delivered from that, you don't have to make up that. You know, testify. Don't tell a lie. You know, testify about what God has done for you and how God has delivered and healed you. You don't have to tell a lie to, you know, to try to get some likes or to try to get people to say, hey, you know what? I know she's been delivered. I know he's been delivered because they did this, they did that. You know, you don't have to make up stuff in order to make it seem like that your life has been such a hard struggle. It's okay if God has delivered you and blessed you with a family, a mom and a dad, and, you know, God bless you and you went to college. And that, that's a wonderful testimony. You know, that's a blessing testimony. That's a blessing. You know, don't be ashamed of the testimony that God has given you, you know, to feel like that. You know, well, God didn't deliver me from that, so I'm just going to jump in. I heard my boy talking about it, so I can talk about it. No, because then you're lying. And chances are, the people who've been on the street, the people who have done those things, we can tell when you're lying. We can tell when you're just trying to make up something in order to be in the conversation. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Be who God has called you to be. Be proud of who God has called you to be. And be thankful for where you are in life. The reason God probably never let you been out there fornicating and stuff is because you may not have gotten back in like the next person. You know, I thank God every day that I don't have any kind of gonorrhea, syphilis, AIDS, none of that. You know, from having all these multiple partners and not using protection back in the 70s and the 80s and, you know, stuff like that in the 90s. You know, we thought we was doing something. I thank God every day, you know, for not having any of those diseases and uh, bacteria, infections and stuff. You know, but I'm not going to sit there and join in a conversation with somebody who said it was a robber and they used to rob and stick up people because I ain't used to do that. I ain't never robbed and stuck up nobody at gunpoint. You know, now I may have been delivered from robbing and doing other things. You know, I thank God for that. But I'm not going to participate in that conversation because I don't know. You know, but I can tell them I thank God that God has healed and delivered you from that. I thank God that God has healed and delivered you from that. Let's be mindful, brothers and sisters, of the things that we say. Let's be mindful of the conversations that we join in and understand that it's okay, you know, if you've never did any of those things. But just know that God has healed and delivered you from fornicating. If you thought about it, you are a fornicator. You don't have to sit there and make up stuff and say, I had multiple partners on actuality. You haven't been with nobody but your wife or your husband and God save you and preserve you, you know, for that one person. That's all right. That's a blessing. That's just not my testimony. You know, but I'm not going to kick against somebody else's. You know, I thank God for that testimony. And I look at them and say, well, I thank God for your testimony, but that's not my testimony. You know, and I thank God for the testimony that I have. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed where God has delivered me and brought me out of. Because what I can do is I can tell the next person, I can tell the next young lady, you know, yes, I was a single mom. Yes, I did this and I did everything that I could to try to uh, raise money to take care of my son. 
you know, but I thank God that God delivered me and healed me and he blessed me with the husband. I ain't ashamed to say that, you know, I'm not ashamed to say that. Now, I thank God for my husband, you know, and God called him on in and I thank God that God is preserving me yet this day and keeping me because he is a keeper, you know. So I just want to encourage somebody to to understand and know that God can and will, you know, do what he said he going to do. And God also hears what we say. So let us be careful. Let us be mindful of the conversations that we're joining in. And before we open up our mouths, let us think before we speak. God bless you.